Hello everyone, let's get started. So what we've got up here is a warrant truss that is subject to two loads. We need to find the reactions at both the supports. So we have our, our pivot joint and our roller joint. So the question has 250 newtons coming down at a distance of uh, angle of 30 degrees and 225. And we know that the perpendicular distance from the top of the truss is 0.866. And the distance here are one meter uh, equal length equilateral triangles. So how do we get started? So we've got our, our steps on the left hand side. The first thing we want to do before we get to our moment is to find out all the forces that we need to resolve. So to do that we look and we get started. So we've got our pivot joint. So our pivot we can call, we have our reaction. So we'll refer to that as our reaction LV. We'll also have a reaction here, reaction LH, left horizontal, and we'll have a resultant force uh, that we'll, we'll solve towards the end here. We also have a vertical force coming up on the roller joints, and we're going to refer to that as RR, uh, reaction R. Uh. We've got 225 coming straight down, so we don't have to do anything with that measurement. And up here we've got 250 acting at 30 degrees to the top of the truss. So we need to resolve that and put that into forces that we deal with. And as you know, with moments, we only deal with vertical and horizontal. So to take the 250 newtons, we come down and we write 250 sine 30. Remember, sine is for our vertical. And 250 cos 30. Now we can get started. So, to get started, we go to step number one, and we say that our datum is, we're going to say that everything that's in a clockwise direction is positive. So we come down here, and I encourage you always to do this, is to come down to the pivot joint and to put your datum in like so. So therefore, you can see that everything that goes around that datum and that center point there is going to be positive. So we say that the sum of the moments about P equals zero, and P here is the pivot joint, just to clarify that and expand it out. So let's get started from working from left to right. So we're looking for everything that has a force and a distance from this point here. So the first one is we, we track across here and we can see that 250 is making its way straight down this way here of a distance of 0.5. We said that these are a meter. So our first one is 250 sine 30 times 0 0.5. Okay, and then we move across and we look at uh, what next have we got. So we've got our sine, then we come over and we look at 250 sine, uh, where's our next one? Then we've got cos, so we've got this one here, and we've also got our 250 cos. Now the perpendicular distance is already given there, so we can go 250 cos 30 times that distance there, which is 0 0.866. Now, we have to work out, we're saying that our datum is going around in this direction. So here we're going around, and that force is going in the same direction. So therefore, it's positive. Now, if I come back to the sign as well, it's coming down in that direction as well. So therefore, I'm going to put a plus there just to exaggerate that, but that's a positive. Right, so we've done, we've done that force, we've done that force. What we've got left is these two over here. So I'll just come down to this line. I'm running out a bit of room here. And our force is acting down of 225 newtons. Our datum is going around like this. So therefore, those two forces are going to be positive. The force is 225 and its distance is one meter and a half, 1.5. And then the last bit, and you can see here, I put everything in brackets. Every force and its distance is in brackets. It's easier to follow as we work through the calculations. Right, the last one is we've got reaction R. Now reaction R, remember our datum's going like, is going against. You can see there, it's going against. So therefore, it's going to be negative. And we can say our force is reaction R and its distance is two. Okay, now we just have to put all this together. So we get, our next bit, so we've got, in brackets, we've got 
0.49 plus 62.5. So I encourage you to put all this through your calculator and do it properly. I'm just moving it quickly across so we can continue on with the presentation. Then we've got down here plus 337.5. And then the last one is minus 2RR, reaction R. Okay, and then from here, we can bring the minus over here, so that will give us 2RR uh, equals, then we put these numbers together and we'll end up getting 587.49. We divide by 2, divide by 2, that cancels out, and reaction R will equal 293.5. Newtons. Okay, so we've done step one. And that reaction R, we can come back over to the diagram and just plot that in there. So that's 293.75 Newtons. Okay, the next bit we need to move on to is our sum of the forces vertical. So we'll come down here, we'll do step two, and we say that everything that's going up, so sum of the forces vertical, Everything that's going up is positive. Okay, so here we go. So again, working either from left to right or right to left, it's up to you what you like to do, um, we can solve this. So let's work from right to left in this instance. So our first one is going up. So therefore, we can write that equals, brackets again, 293.75 is positive. I'll put that just there for now so you're getting used to seeing that working your way here, got our next one coming straight down. All we care about is just what, if they're going up or down. We don't worry about the distance here, it's just the force and its vertical component. If it's positive, it's going up. If it's negative, it's coming down. So here we have minus two, two, five. Tracking across here, we've got minus 250 sine 30. And then we come over here and we've got plus reaction LV. Then you can see that's our unknown, that's what we're working towards solving. So we'll move this over here and we'll have minus reaction LV equals, put all these numbers together, and you'll get negative 5, 6.25. And as you know, we've got two negatives, divide by negative 1, and that becomes positive. So therefore... Reaction LV, and I always like to underline a sub-answer. You can see underline here for sub-answer, underline there for sub-answer. Reaction LV equals 56.25. Okay, moving on to our next one, and we're definitely running out of a bit of room here, is we're going to go to step three. And step three is over, let's go here, sum of all the forces horizontally equal zero. So what I'm saying here is all the horizontal forces that are acting through this truss, everything that's going from left to right is going to be positive. Left to right, positive. Okay, so similar to um, vertical forces,